That's so lovely. From Washington, D.C., repping for the Poe MCs. Give it up for my man, Patrick Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to inform you that effective immediately, and at any moment, Whitney could wither, crack, crumble. Bobby could sweep her up, smoke what's left of her, and I wouldn't care anymore. I kept track of the slightest of changes in hip hop styles, y'all. The hairs on the head of Mary J. Blige, the color of Little Kim's eyes, or even her expanding cup size. I've dedicated more brain cells to knowing what Snoop had in his crib than my son in his. One day, my time capsule will crack open, screaming right on it, word up, from dusty magazine covers, the same way I used to find old Ebony Jet and Life Mag stuck together in Grandma's garage. I keep mementos of some entertainers, life and times, tenderly stacked away in numerical order in the corner, and can't even keep my shit in order. If only Trivial Pursuit had been offered in college, y'all, I'd be Cornell fucking West. <laughs> and I ain't the only one in here. I know cats who freestyle their ass off and don't know the first line the sucker MCs and the Pulitzer has also been lost to me ever since I was a latchkey kid learning to take the safety off. There is a direct link between the six-year-old I saw on Leno who played Brahms, Mozart, Tchaikovsky, and the fact that he had never in his life heard of Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, 50 Cent. The kid ain't a genius. He was raised correctly. From now on, my son's gonna think TV ain't nothing but a staticky box to stick his drawings on. Little Picasso is gonna finger paint over the screen to the picture flicker psychedelica. He's gonna know. TV is what you turn off in case of emergency. Fuck Bush. Listen to daddy, son. He lies. <laughs> and there, there will be no more digital clouds dangling in the sky. He won't even write book reports. He's gonna write grandparent reports. Come home, arms overflowing with memories that we would then sit him down to check for spelling and accuracy and he can get mad if he wants to because homework ain't never been a punishment. Being stupid is a punishment. Knowing all the dialogue to every episode of Fresh Prince, that's stupid. <laughs> My son will get an algebra problem for every time he mentions Nelly at the dinner table and a, a history book for every time he mentions Vivica A. Fox. I'm taking my brain back, y'all, washing, rinsing and wringing it out, and I don't give a damn how many pounds Oprah's lost this week. You see, Stedman and I got better things to worry about. <laughs> <laughs>